He is simply the sweetest man that you'll ever meet. Hi, how are you, Odessa? I'm so good. How are you? Great. I mean, this movie, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so it's such great. Two women protagonists. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. just unique, and not only in the genre, but to see these two fierce women, not necessarily go at it, but it's just this weird relationship that's hard to describe, right? What was it like for you approaching this character? Yeah, I mean, that was, uh, that was kind of the, the main draw of it, I think, for me, is that, you know, we're, we're obviously living in a very fortuitous time for, for women in film and female characters where, you know, these, these stories and these relationships, which, which have been, you know, have existed in mythology and folklore and archetype and, you know, for, for centuries since the dawn of storytelling, but are, are kind of finally giving, given, um, you know, their, their time on screen and, and in media. Uh, and especially kind of, I, I think that Shirley and, you know, Sarah Gubbins and Josephine is, is kind of a, a duo in creating the movie have have elevated that beyond just a story about female relationships and really kind of paid homage to the complexity and the messiness mm -hmm. and the ugliness which exists within them as well uh which i think is such an important thing to pay attention to uh so yeah i think we <laughs> we really tried to kind of make the relationship between rose and shirley as um as tense and nuanced as it could possibly be now, what was it um, opposite acting, Elizabeth Moss? I mean, she's such a great actress. So were you excited to work with her because of her, you know, um, I mean, she's one of the best actresses this generation. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. I think that um, I'm, I would be lying if I said that that also wasn't a really big, uh, you know, draw to the film. Um, she she is truly a pleasure to work with, um, you know, as an actor and also as a person. Uh, as an actor, she gives you so, so much uh, in her performance. And, and it's, you know, acting is a dance and it's a game and it's, you know, a game of mirrors and playing and tennis and, you know, whatever kind of other metaphor that you want to bring into it. But, but truly when someone, when someone is playing their best, you need to play your best mm -hmm. to, to respect them and to elevate them as they are elevating you. And, you know, it is just such a joy to do that with, with an actress like Elizabeth Moss, who has such confidence and such mastery over what she's doing, um, and and yeah, it, it was such a such a wonderful learning experience and and uh, such a gift to be able to get those get those scenes with her. Now, do you think uh, Rose and uh, Fred are maybe like the younger version of what maybe this this older couple used to be? Yeah, a I lot think of mirroring. I think that there is, I think that there is mirroring. I think that, um, you know, there's a reading of the film in which that is very much the case in which Shirley and Stanley are the, uh, are the kind of fully actualized versions of, of Rose and Fred and what they could be and what they go through. And, and um, yeah, it kind of tells the story about the, the trauma that needs to happen to get to that to get to that state, to get to that level, and you know, people going through these things together um, to not only bond but discover themselves individually. Um, yeah, there's there's very much a reading that that you know, yeah, Stanley and Shirley might be the future that lies in wait for for Fred and Rose. Do you think the moral of the story, I mean, I'm just kidding about this, but the men drive us, drive the women crazy? I mean, look, the, the movie's not saying no. <laughs> but Logan, how was he mm. as a, as a co-star? Oh, he's wonderful. He is simply the sweetest man that you'll ever meet. And, and I'm, I'm so grateful to have had him kind of on, on side during that, during a lot of our scenes, because they were, it was quite daunting territory for me. You know, there's, there's a lot of sexual, um, sexual scenes in the movie and I'd never done something quite so explicit. And, and he just really aided in creating a, a safe place for that to happen. And for me to kind of just focus on the acting as opposed to the, how physically bizarre it was to be so exposed, you know, in, in a room with, people all over you know it's like yeah. uh it's not so romantic and and yeah he was he was a real godsend on set well we might not be seeing uh, much of those type of scenes 
Yeah, right? I, I know. know. I know. Isn't that because funny? Because of this whole situation. Yeah, we're going to have to get very stuff? creative about the way that we show romance. But, you know, it all happens over phones anyway now. So <laughs> we've got practice. Um, and I want to ask you, it's nice to see Logan kind of in an adult role and yourself as an adult role because you, you guys look very young. Mm. But it's, it's very rare to see young people in a movie uh, portrayed in such an in-depth way. Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was really excited about this role for that reason. Um, it was kind of the first, the first role that I wasn't playing a, a teenager or a high schooler and stuff like that, which is, you know, no knock to that, but, but it was, it did really kind of feel like, like growing up and, you know, Rose is, is pregnant and starting a family and starting her life. And she's, she's a wife and she, you know, has to kind of live up to this adult expectation. And it's, it was really interesting to play that and to be given the, the um, g given the, uh, I guess, agency to, to discover those kind of more independent parts of myself as an actor. Mm -hmm. And it's ironic that you're pregnant as Rose and you're also pregnant, I believe I read in the stand, right? Yeah, you know, I guess the world just wants me to get knocked up, huh? <laughs> Well, how did they do that? Because, you know, you do expose yourself and you see a belly and mm. you look really real. How did mm. they, I mean, what's well, the magic of filmmaking, right? Magic of prosthetics. Yeah. Yeah. We had a really, really good makeup effects team that, that worked very, very hard. And it was the first time I'd ever had to do such in-depth uh, prosthetics molds and casting mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And God, the, yeah, the, the skill that goes into it and even just matching the skin tones, because yeah. if you look at your skin, if you look at your arm, you realize that, you know, there are so many different colors in, mm -hmm. in, in your skin tone and, and they, um, yeah, they're just masters of their craft. Yeah. It seemed pretty seamless. That's why I was kind of blown away. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it was full quite frontal. weird. <laughs> yeah. It was quite weird to, to, to see, that yeah that seam and to kind of almost trick yourself into into thinking like <laughs> oh my god is that is, that's what i would look like that's all that's wow and i swear sometimes i felt it kicking <laughs> and he put in some animatronics in there. yeah exactly <laughs> just like little air puffs yeah that would be that would be a little weird mm. all right thank you so much and thank uh, stay you safe. pleasure yeah and yourself thank you